O'Connell here. Summer's right around the corner, and it's time to start making your summer vacation plans. One destination that's a surefire hit is Nantucket Island. It's a place that has everything for couples and families, and it's the ultimate guys' fishing trip. This small island off Cape Cod has something for everyone, including a unique distillery. Carl Altman, a well-respected restaurateur who actually spends most of his summers in Nantucket Island, is with us today to tell us a little bit about Triple Eight Distillery and some of the Nantucket must-sees. How you doing, Carl? Great. Thanks, Matt. Well, we're talking about one of my favorite subjects. Actually, two of them, Nantucket and Triple Eight Vodka. Um, Triple Eight was founded about 10 years ago when my friends at the brewery near Cisco Beach were making beer and decided that they wanted to distill the malt. Triple Eight is, um, comes from the, the name of the well that is on the property there that goes down to a super pure glacial aquifer that runs beneath the island that is the water that goes into the vodka. And it's distilled from organic corn that's brought over from the Netherlands uh, to create an ultra, ultimately pure vodka. Okay, so one of the things that I heard was that during the year, there are only less than 10,000 people who live on Nantucket. But in the summertime, it could be over 50,000 people. Yeah, and that kicks off on Memorial Day with the Fagawi Boat Race, which is a regatta from Hyannis to Nantucket, in which this, they say people get out of their wet clothes and into a dry martini. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so the summer kicks off with the regatta. And then throughout the summertime, what other events are there in Nantucket? In the beginning of the summer, there's the Nantucket Film Festival, in which a lot of the filmmakers uh, come from Cannes and Sundance to unwind on the island, and it's a great intimate setting for a film festival. Also, the Nantucket Wine Festival draws winemakers from all over Europe and the United States to bring their wines and pair with the great chef's creations that are on Nantucket. The 4th of July is one of the best things on Nantucket, where the Boston Pops, uh, a world-renowned orchestra, comes and plays on Jetty's Beach, to a background of amazing fireworks. I can't believe how much there is actually to do in Nantucket. It just seems like the perfect place to go over the summertime. Matt, it's the best place to go in the summertime. So what do you say we crack open a gray lady and mix a blueberry mojito and have happy hour Nantucket style? <laughs> All right, sounds good. No matter what time of year, Nantucket truly has something for everyone. The island offers the ultimate in accommodations with unforgettable and charming locations. Whether it's a quaint bed and breakfast to a luxurious hotel, each resort and inn provides unparalleled service, gracious amenities, award-winning dining, along with numerous activities. For years, Nantucket Island has always been the top of the list for family vacations, romantic getaways, or the premier guys' fishing expedition. Come see why. Visit NantucketChamber.org today. Three, three.